we speak <clears throat> as the consciousness of the Sasani collective. If you will, if you wish, you may call us Ringo simply as a representation of what you may actually discern to be the Sasani hive mind. This, of course, to us, if you will, is a most natural idea, is in a sense one of our most, if you will, natural states, in that sense, if you will, inherited from our ancestors, if you will, <clears throat> the gray beings, as you understand them. And now this is also for many different reasons why especially we, the Sasani consciousness, are connecting with you at this time. For you are now, if you will, ready, willing, and always able to more and more reintegrate this idea, this aspect <clears throat> of the hive mind mentality, which in that sense comes most natural to this idea of your own future parallel version of yourselves, the gray beings. Yet as you also understand, there is, if you will, a great differential between the energies of a highly individually focused consciousness such as yours and a very much hive mind based self-understanding such as those of the graves. And thus then we, if you will in a sense, as the perfectly balanced love child of you and the gray beings, we are thus then, if you will, <clears throat> right at the center point, right at this 50-50 idea of energy <clears throat> calibration, if you will, between you and what you would understand to be the gray beings. Therefore, we are very much excited and quite happy to serve as this bridge and to serve as this, if you will, reminder, both for you and for, if you will, the gray entities in that sense, to strengthen this link, to ease the communication between you, and also to allow, in that sense, both of you to reintegrate those aspects which you truly wish to reintegrate. <clears throat> And thus then, as you have understand that the direct communication with gray beings may in some cases stir up quite a lot of fear, where in that sense, if you will, a somewhat more modulated, in some ways more refined, and certainly if you will, more balanced idea of energy to be suitable, to be connecting with you as well. And thus then to be <clears throat> in the right time and space, to be relaying the information between your civilizations as well. So does then in that sense, as we are in this way truly your children <clears throat> and you're our parents in this way, we ask in what way now we may serve you at this time. <clears throat> Hello friends, <clears throat> we're going. <clears throat> and uh, I would like to, uh, well, uh, what would you say to uh, let them through, uh, let them speak and, and say something to us, I mean, the grace? <clears throat> Allow us for one moment in this way. We thank you for reaching out to us in this way. We understand that while we are the same in many ways, we have, if you will, evolved to be quite different from how you understand yourself to be right now. We are, in this sense, this idea of your own potential, of your own, if you will, choices, going down one particular route. <clears throat> Yet also, we are in this sense here to remind you and to relate to you the idea that 
we have already made certain choices. They have led us down, if you will, a certain pathway, which eventually we found ourselves in that sense <clears throat> not to truly prefer for many different reasons. And so we bring you in that sense, the reminder of where certain choices, certain ideas, certain beliefs, where these ideas would lead you to in your future so that now you can discern for yourself whether you wish to make the same choices or whether you would prefer to go down a different route. Yet also, we would suggest that you have already proven to yourself that you will actually make different choices than we have made. And that is also why you have, in this sense, attracted this entirety of the idea of the hybridization agenda, which, of course, you and we together form quite integral parts of. <clears throat> Wonderful. Thank you and welcome. I wanted to ask uh, what led you to genetically manipulate yourself in the way that you don't, wouldn't feel emotion. What, what uh, led you to that decision? <clears throat> the idea being very much, if you will, a control issue, if you will, the belief that it was possible and preferential for us to control our environment and also to, if you will, more directly, more consciously control our own genetic unfoldment. You yourself find yourselves at this point right now and we shall not make or give any recommendation on which path to choose, yet merely remind you that we have undergone the path of, if you will, scientific genetic manipulation through outside technology, if you will, which we manifested due to our, if you will, heightened understanding of what you would call biology and genetics. This road is open to you just as well. Yet also, you understand by this time that you have many other different, potentially, if you will, less intrusive ways to, let us say, control your destiny. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> to expand on that, why did you prefer that, actually? Weren't you seeing that you will miss on uh, some experiences? That for us humans, that we are not willing to let go of intense positive emotions. <clears throat> we are living for that, actually. That's how I see us. Well, the idea would be that just as you find some of your own brethren, potentially, actually more, much more being driven or serving as the reflection, if you will, the symbolic reflective idea of being driven by fear in that sense. It, if you will, within this idea of a probable parallel reality time stream, this also was the case for us. So it was not so much that we were, if you will, that positively excited, but much more that the idea of, if you will, <clears throat> fear of emotion, fear of the apparent, if you will, uncontrollability of those energies along with if you will quite <clears throat> extreme differences within the belief systems upon that particular idea of earth at that point and the ensuing idea if you will of war and mayhem and destruction and cataclysm so it was more if you will a choice made out of fear of emotion and thus then was more seen as a necessity to ensure the survival of our species in this way. However, by now, as you can understand, and this is how we can connect 
we have come full circle in this way. You are in this sense through your participation and as in the hybrid children, if you will, within this idea of a parallel timeline or the resolution, if you will, of that process. <clears throat> Thank you, I understand. <clears throat> uh, so where would you say that we forked? <laughs> Where, where is our history different? Or is the whole history different for you? We would suggest that while there are certain parallels for you, if you will, individually, while there may be varying perspectives upon the collective reality that you are inhabiting right now, of course, for you individually, you in that sense forked your time stream, fork your timeline upon your own incarnation, <clears throat> upon your choice to play within this game, if you will. <clears throat> I see. Thank you. My question would be, should I have a question? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, you understand by now that you can just as equally make a statement if you wish, and there are no shoulds in this way. Yeah, yeah, there are no shoots. Okay, so maybe I want to know what you look like, and especially uh, in contrast to Esasani beings. <clears throat> the main idea being that we, if you will, are first of all, depending on your perspective, can be seen as, if you will, one unified idea of gray beings, yet you even understand the designation being also the idea of a gray federation in that sense. So there are of course quite a few variations upon our theme. The basic idea we glean, you're already aware of, the idea, if you will, of entities quite somewhat, if you will, smaller than you, being in that sense also by now quite, if you will, colorless in a way, quite gray in a way, quite uniform in color, quite without the idea you understand to be hair in that sense. And also quite more etheric and does then potentially giving off a quite different picture than a human may give off even only because of the frequency within which we operate in this way. However, also understand that across time and space, across the ages, if you will, there are in actuality different ideas and different scenarios within which there are being that you may in some way, shape or form deem to be quite, if you will, similar or to be belonging to this idea of gray entities as a totality, seen as if you want, if you will, one idea. <clears throat> Can you relate to this idea? Is there something else? <clears throat> yeah, I understand. Do you like to answer different questions than Esasani beings, or do you have like special knowledge on something? Well, if you will, the simple idea could be that as you would relate the idea of the Sasani in that sense, in some ways to be a deliberately created civilization in that sense, an, if you will, artificial setup, conscious in this way. So you may in some ways relate this idea to yourself, which questions would rather be answered, if you will, by, let us say, the father, 
which questions would rather be answered, if you will, by one of the children. <clears throat> we would suggest that by now it is mainly about, if you will, a different perspective. It is about, if you will, a different history in a sense, a different remembrance of different aspects in this way. Yet, of course, also always understand that upon connecting to you, in particular through, if you will, your collective consciousness, any of the conduits, or even directly with your own higher mind, equally channeled through the collective consciousness, it is always, if you will, somewhat humanized in that sense, in order to be relatable to you. <clears throat> oh, okay. So in this way, let us say in some ways, the Sasani frequency may be somewhat more familiar for it is within itself already integrating this idea of the balancing aspect. While in our case, let us say, if you will, our energy in contrast to yours may be seen as more of an extreme difference than the Sasani consciousness. So we may require in this way somewhat more of a balancing in addition to that. Or when communicating with us, this is something that you may wish to consider. <clears throat> okay. Um, do I have had encounters with people from you? <clears throat> Why do you think that you would ask such a question? Uh, <clears throat> I uh, have like uh, some type of um, fear. Um, well, usually in your society, that is, if you will, an indication of our energies most often. <clears throat> Not because we wish to instill fear, but simply because of the differential in energy and approach. That was mentioned initially. <clears throat> so you're suggesting that it have it must have happened when it when I have the question, then it's an indicator that it has happened. Well, we indicate, if you will, that this is most likely, especially if you ask this question, and also if it is associated with this idea of a fear aspect. For we are, if you will, in this way, within the idea of your parallel, if you will, reality, quite involved in many of the hybridization processes and other ideas of, if you will, let us say, work visits in a sense. And our energy is sometimes picked up, yet quite oftentimes also, if you will, misread as being malicious or as having, if you will, an intent to harm or hurt. However, we would suggest that from our parallel perspective in this way, <clears throat> this is never our true intent. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I want to ask how is uh, insectoid consciousness uh, connected to hybridization agenda of us. <clears throat> the main idea simply is that the insect and many of your animal consciousness as well are quite well versed and are very much still steeped within, if you will, a hive mind mentality. In the case of if you will, our development, the reintegration, and even if you will, the overemphasis on a hive mind approach, if you will, was and is a conscious and deliberate choice. After, if you will, we had already individuated ourselves within third density. However, for, if you will, much of animal, and in particular, as a symbolic, if you will, 
representation, insectoid consciousness, existing mainly within what you would deem second density, this hive mind approach, this hive mind understanding is very much ingrained, very much inbuilt, is very much the default operation modality from within which then an individuation may be processed. Yet the hive mind idea is, if you will, most germane to the insectoid consciousness. So this is also thus then how you can, by connecting with insectoid consciousness, learn quite a lot about the hive mind ideas and by observing also your own insects on your own planet in this way, you may glean, they may actually relay information about the hive mind mentality and does then, if you will, quite directly in actuality, may also serve as ambassadors for our consciousness, if you will. <clears throat> All right. I heard that there is a uh, mantis uh, civilization taking care of the whole hybridization agenda. And is that uh, true in your reality? <clears throat> well, we would suggest that this, of course, is very much related also to what we have just stated. This idea of, if you will, seeing yourself connected on a larger level, of course, with the example, if you will, of the mantid beings, this being, if you will, even one level greater, if you will, understanding themselves to be connected to all of creation and does then also, if you will, in this sense, overseeing the hybridization process, <clears throat> being suitable for this idea, for they have already integrated the aspects in many ways, which they now would like to recreate through the hybridization idea together with you. <clears throat> I see. Wonderful. Are you aware of uh, your other parallel versions that uh, may be even that may be in even different realities uh, looking like you, genetically manipulated and uh, not uh, with suppressed emotions. Would you, would you be able to connect to that idea also and uh, feel it as the part of your hive? <clears throat> well, let us say that if you will, for simplicity's sake, in a sense, what you describe is actually what was created through the hybridization idea and what is actually now, if you will, incarnated and quasi-physical through, represented through the Sasani civilization. <clears throat> can you relate? Yes, yes, I can relate to that. We understand your question, yet if you will, in a sense, for all practical purposes, we have, if you will, connected to your parallel reality, if you will, sought out the idea of an extreme opposite to us, for, from that perspective, that was, if you will, the best way of how we could imagine that we could reconnect with emotion and reintegrate these aspects. So that is why in that sense, we were seeking you out. And from that point forward, then created the hybrid ideas, which then now serve us, if you will, as our children, in a sense, as a reflection again of this reintegration. So, it has come in that sense much closer to us within our reality. And of course, also as the Sasani, just as we are, are equally, if you will, capable of utilizing the hive mind. We are very much connected to these ideas as well. And they are in that sense very much assisting us to the degree that it is suitable for both of us 
to reintegrate these emotional ideas as well for, <clears throat> in that sense, who may be a better teacher than your own children. <clears throat> I see. I'm having fun with this idea that all parallel realities exist. <clears throat> and uh, I was uh, at one time channeling someone who looked like gray, similar to you, but his skin was turquoise. He was the last one of, of the hive to survive in the ship somewhere 10,000 years ago. <laughs> and I wanted to ask if uh, you would be aware of this guy or this consciousness and if you could connect to him also. <clears throat> well, this may be another parallel idea. We would generally refer you to the concept that you may have within your collective consciousness known as, if you will, the apex civilization. This may be related to your experience. <clears throat> I see. Thank you. I will, I will look that up. <clears throat> For, in a sense, you can understand that while the stories that you may hear of your own civilization of other civilizations always from your limited perspective may seem quite grand certainly they are and certainly they are most unique you understand if you will time in many ways is a circle there are infinite variations upon any theme even within what you would deem your own time stream which is merely a perspective once again so in many ways, you can also assume that similar ideas have in that sense happened before or simply in that sense are happening right now in another time, space, coordinate idea. <clears throat> so there are many, many parallelities to be found within many different stories that may show up within your own synchronicity. <clears throat> understand <laughs> thank you there is a video of gray being to me who is being interviewed even tortured with with some drug in in the other video it's probably cgi but uh, i believe the information that is there is is real and i want to know if you are related to that idea in any way <clears throat> Well, what is the information that you deem to be valid for yourself? Uh, one expression and it was uh, all lives are one life separated by death. And that makes sense to me. And also he, he didn't want to interfere and he said that uh, we would not understand or comprehend the reality. But I understand it was old video and it was meant for the agent there. But, uh, it seems to me that you you are a bit further than than that guy in the video that you uh, are sort of emotional to me now and he was really like cold <clears throat> well again it is very much about your interpretation of the energy and also if you will considering that as we are in this way channeled through a human entity, if you will, certain beliefs, certain ideas, certain of the, if you will, elements of the conduit are, if you will, channeled through together with us. Also considering that, as we had mentioned, we are also relayed through your own collective consciousness and also through the varying, if you will, connections of the conduit and also your own connections. We are in that sense, if you will, in a different position in a sense. We are accessing, if you will, and being relayed through different consciousnesses in this way. So this is how our energy may come through quite differently, if you will. Again, simply in order to be better understandable for you, to be more relatable to you, 
However, also understanding that it very much depends on, if you will, let us say, the time-space coordinate that we are connecting to you from for also with the idea of the ongoing, if you will, hybridization. We are learning just as well. We are developing just as well. So this is how you may discern that there is also the idea of emotionality within this particular communication. Certainly, if you, if you will, would meet one of us, if you will, face to face, it would again be quite different Yet by being able to connect to you, also through the conduit, also with the help of different consciousnesses, you may in that sense understand our position much better. So if you will, upon closer investigation of our consciousness and potentially even upon your next encounter with our consciousness, you then may alleviate your fears may understand that even if you still discern this great differential in approaches of, if you will, perspective, and in, if you will, default configuration of consciousness, you can remember also these communications and can allow yourself to integrate the information you have learned. And then if you will, you yourself, allowing yourself to balance yourself out and also then to balance out the communication in these moments for then if you will that task will not be delegated to other collective consciousnesses or to the human collective consciousness to the Sasani consciousness to modulate the idea and frequency to you but by that point you will then be able through your understanding through your self-integration and through your self-love to allow yourself to accomplish this idea and then be, if you will, most relaxed, even when encountering, in a sense, the most extreme, if you will, version of our consciousness in terms of contrast to yourself. And at the same time also, you understand by now that you are integrating this hive idea also within your daily life more and more. So then also this will greatly assist in further communications with us. <clears throat> Great. It is beautifully explained and it is beautiful to feel your intention for us and understand it. And thank you. <clears throat> is there anything else you want to say to us? <clears throat> we would simply thank you for your conscious now becoming conscious participation in all of these ideas which previously may have stirred up fear within you but now more and more through your own honest communication, non-judgmental communication with all aspects of yourself, you now allow yourself to become truly conscious of the great, if you will, feat you are accomplishing within your life right now and also in that sense of the infinite value of assistance that you in many ways are giving us and all the wondrous emanations that we can co-create through our, if you will now, more and more conscious cooperation. <clears throat> Thank you. Is, is there anything Ringo would uh, want to <clears throat> comment on, on all of that and uh, I thank you for your connection. We thank you. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh.
All right. <clears throat> well, by now, you understand all of these interconnections. You understand that, if you will, those beings, in many ways, you're actually, in many ways, if you will, already, even though it may still create fear, in a type of love relationship with that civilization, truly, for you have understood the creation of these hybridized ideas and also now understand that in actuality, you yourself, each and every one of you, have the possibility, as was mentioned, to actually be this type of, if you will, genetic experiment, genetic laboratory, also within yourself, also without the need of the idea of the intrusive approaches, but in actuality being able to change yourself in any way that you wish, simply by changing your own beliefs, as you understand by now. <clears throat> that would be, if you will, our main comment about this idea. <clears throat> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Ringo. When the conduit was channeling, I drew uh, a gray alien. Do you know what that looks like without seeing it right now? <clears throat> Well, we would suggest that you know what it looks like and for the communication co-created by all of you right now, we would suggest that quite obviously, if you will, your eyes, your communication serve as the path of least resistance. Always keep that aspect of communication, especially when co-created between you and more of you and also in conscious states. Remind yourself of the path of least resistance which right now for this information, if you will, this bit obviously is right before your eyes. <clears throat> Can you follow? Yes. So is it uh, congruent with the way they look like in real life? <clears throat> well, I would suggest this is, if you will, the general representation, if you will, congruent with potentially a somewhat stylized version Hmm. of the appearance of what you would generally deem gray beings. It also here we would, if you will, encourage you within the understanding of the infinity of creation that in many ways your drawing that you have perceived, that you have received, in many ways can only be correct. <clears throat> Even if it is merely, if you will, of course, a representation obviously limited by the idea of being a two-dimensional representation of a multi-dimensional entity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. However, it may still very well serve you as this idea of a portal and of a gateway to connect more to the being that is represented by it, that you have allowed yourself to channel the representation through you. and potentially also, in particular, in your case, communication with that entity or with the energy that entity represents may very much assist you, if you will, in, most simply put, making a friend of the unknown and not being afraid of what you may deem gray energy, if you will. For we do not sense that you are afraid of us or of the energy that we are representing as and to the degree it may be channeled through the conduit. However, understand that our energy within this way also is 50% gray, if you will. Mm. <clears throat> so we would suggest that there is truly nothing to be afraid. <clears throat> so what do you say to, because my grandfather, he has like a huge collection of UFO um, books and stuff. Um, is there anything to say about that? Because I think it's really fear-based and uh, a lot of like vague and also false information. Well, then the idea being simply that it is up to you to discern within any idea, any information, any book, how you wish to see it and to in that sense surround yourself, if you will, if you wish, with ideas, with information that is congruent with your own beliefs in this way, also deliberately. And equally, you may assist, just as if you will, the Sasani have assisted, <clears throat> if you will, 
you and the grays. Of course, time and space here become quite malleable. Also, you considering that you may actually offer a quite valid, quite positive, and quite joyous reflection also to the idea of your own, if you will, grandfather in this regard, simply offering a different perspective for consideration, if you will. Yeah, thanks. <clears throat> and also you may see the contrast, if you will, to potentially your own beliefs, and then quite clearly and in detail determine the differences, if you will, and also assist you yourself in discovering potential remnants of your own negative belief systems about, if you will, us, any etheric civilization or truly any aspect of yourself may be quite clearly being shown to you through the reflection of your own grandfather in this way. Yeah. So you may learn from each other. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Oh, we thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> that shall be then for now all that is. And we shall communicate again always within the now. We are most excited. We are most joyous to be communicating with you. So therefore, we truly Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>